Hey everybody, welcome back to the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie and Happy New Year. So today we're going to be going through who I think is going to win the Golden Globes tomorrow, Sunday. Um, this video was supposed to be out sometime last week or the week before, but I never actually got around to filming it because I was doing all the decade videos and then the end of the year. This is going to be my very first award show prediction video. So I usually always just kind of print out a little spreadsheet and just kind of you know mark off why things is gonna win and I post it on Instagram now I have YouTube and I'm very excited to officially do this I've never done this before and I always have a hard time just marking off a name so doing a whole video is like seems more permanent but we're only gonna be doing the movie category because I really haven't watched too much TV I know right shocker most of the things that I watched honestly on Netflix another thing that is nominated is just on network TV or on cable and I really don't watch that many I just don't have time anymore like I used to um, quite honestly the only thing that as far as the TV series that's nominated that I've seen is Big Little Lies. So you can go ahead and mark that one on my list is Big Little Lies. All right, let's go ahead and start off with Best Actor in a Supporting Role Motion Picture. Uh, the nominees are Anthony Hopkins for The Two Popes, Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Joe Pesky for The Irishman, Al Pacino, The Irishman, and Tom Hanks, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. As much as I would love Joe to win for The Irishman, I think it might actually go to Brad Pitt for Hollywood. Hollywood has been doing really good um, in the whole award deal. I mean, they're being nominated for everything. Hopefully, though, just because this is Joe's kind of like last film. I mean, he pretty much was in retirement, came back for this, that they'll give it to him. But I feel like they're really toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I mean, Al Pacino could honestly take it as well. But, but I'm going to go with Brad Pitt. I'm going to go ahead and mark my little box for Brad. I feel like he is honestly the the obvious choice um, as much as I would love Joe to win and if he wins it's gonna be like Hoo -hoo. all right let's go ahead and go over to the actress category so best performance by an actress in a supporting role and any motion picture and that is Kathy uh, Bates for Richard Jewell, uh, Net Benny the Report, Laura Dern Marriage Story, Jennifer Lopez Hustlers and Margot Robbie for Bombshell. Uh, now, Kathy Bates, if you haven't seen Richard Jewell, definitely recommend for you guys to see it. That speech, um, which is at the, um, the speech that she gives during the press conference asking uh, President Clinton to forgive her son was just, oh my god, like just so heart-wrenching. Uh, if you didn't cry there, like what's wrong with you? Laura Dern's character was definitely like just over the top in this film. Um, I feel like she could definitely get an Oscar nomination. Uh, Jennifer Lopez for The Hustlers, she started getting praise and, you know, Oscar buzz. I was just like why i i don't get it i i was not a fan of the movie i honestly wasn't a fan that much of her performance but that's neither here nor there it happens she has a nomination um more than likely she'll get an oscar nom i mean she's one of the front runners at the end it really does come down to laura dern and jennifer lopez um margot robbie will probably be my third pick um, obvious pick here is going to be Jennifer Lopez. As much as I was not a fan of her performance or the movie overall, she seems to be the favorite um, going in. I will give her the Golden Globe, but give Laura Dern the Oscar because I don't want Jennifer to get an Oscar for this performance. I just wasn't a fan of it. I really just was not here for the whole movie in general. I just I didn't like it. You can come after me if you want to. But to me, Laura Dern should really just take everything. Um, and we had that. Like, even Marco Robbie could take this and maybe Laura Dern the, the Oscar. But at the end, it's, it's going to come down to, to Jennifer. Okay, moving right along to the drama portion of this. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture in the drama category. And that would be Christian Bell for Ford v. Ferrari, Antonio Banderas for Pain and Glory, Adam Driver, Marriage Story, Joaquin Phoenix for Joker, and Jonathan Price for The Two Popes. Now, out of the five nominees, I have not seen Pain and Glory, but I've heard really, really good things about it, and I do really want to see it. Um, I love a Ford v. Ferrari, uh, but quite honestly, Christian Bell it's it, he's not gonna win this if he would possibly be my third in line again marriage story i know how i feel about it today as much as i would love adam driver to win because i feel like his performance was just fantastic i feel like adam driver had a wonderful year to be honest i mean he came out with like three movies or four movies this year and marriage story um was just phenomenal now joaquin phoenix i mean it's freaking joaquin he's like brilliant so Honestly, it's gonna come down to Hakeem. I really do see him winning the the globe for for his performance in Joker. I mean, he did a phenomenal job, and um, I don't know how it's gonna be for the Oscars. It's, it's gonna be tough. It really is. I mean, if he takes the globe, more than likely he he's gonna take 
the Oscar as well, to be honest with you. They're both wonderful performances. It's It was really hard to pick, to be honest with you. All right, moving right along to Best Performance by an Actress in a Motion Picture Drama. And that would be Cynthia Irfiel for Harriet. Again, all good and well. Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story, uh, Shorshin Rowan for Little Women, uh, Charlize Theron for Bombshell, and Renee Zellweger for Judy. I have not seen Harriet or Little Women. Again, yeah, I know how I feel about Marriage Story. Scarlett Johansson is my number two pick. I mean, she's who I would want to win, but even though I have not seen the movie yet, I hear wonderful, wonderful things about Judy. Oh, Judy's another one I haven't seen. I know I just said two, but I forgot. Judy, I haven't seen either. And my understanding is that Renee does an absolute phenomenal job in this movie. And she is kind of like the no-brainer, shoe-in, this is who's going to win. So that's who I'm marking my box for is Renee Zellweger, as much as I would love Scarlett to win. Moving on to Best Performance by an Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. Uh, nominees were Daniel Craig for Knives Out, uh, Roman Griffin Davis for Jojo Rabbit, Leonardo DiCaprio, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, Taryn Edgerton, Rocket Man, and Eddie Murphy, Dolomite is my name. All of these, I have not seen Rocket Man, and if you saw my Best of 2019, then you know how I feel about Jojo Rabbit. It's gonna go to Leo, uh, because Hollywood is being nominated for everything, and he would be the obvious choice for this. Um, coming in second place would be actually Eddie Murphy for Dolomite Is My Name. Eddie Murphy could kind of like swiggle his way and take it at the end of the night, but I feel like Hollywood is really going to just, for the most part, take everything in its category. Like, and I don't really, I honestly, I don't understand it, you guys. Like, I saw the movie and I feel like it's just really overhyped. I wasn't that fond of it. I mean, it was entertaining and yes, it does give you that old classic Hollywood look. Yes, it was it was good. But as much hype as it's getting, it... All right, moving on to the better half. Best performance by an actress in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Nominees, Ana de Adamas, Nice Out, Aquafina, The Farewell, Kate Blanchett, Where'd You Go, Bernadette, uh, Bernie Fieldston, Booksmart, and Emma Thompson for Late Night. Uh, now, from this list, I've only seen three out of the five. I have not seen Where'd You Go, Bernadette, or Late Night. Now, for this category, I feel like it's really easy. It's gonna go to Aquafina. Like, it, if it doesn't go to her, not just me but I feel like a lot of people are going to be just like super shocked um it was really really good that movie you have not seen the farewell full-on recommend for you guys to see it it does have subtitles so just kind of be pre-worn and a lot of people are not fond of subtitles but you're missing out on a lot of good movies you guys come on don't be lazy just just read the damn titles okay so let's go ahead and move on to best motion picture foreign language and the nominees are the farewell Le Miserable. Pain and Glory, Parasite, and Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Now from this list, I've only seen one. This one is an obvious shoe-in. It's gonna go to Parasite. Um, I have not seen it. I really want to see it. Portrait of a Lady on Fire I also here is phenomenal, but quite honestly, hands down, it's gonna go to Parasite. If they don't win, it's gonna be another one that's just like a what? Best Motion Picture Animated, and that would be Frozen 2, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, The Lion King, what the fuck is that even doing in this category? I don't know. Um, Missing Link and Toy Story 4. Why wasn't Klaus nominated for this? Like seriously, The Lion King? It sucked. I don't like Lion King and I don't want that to win. If that wins, I'd be so mad. But I don't think it's going to win. Um, I feel like the obvious choice here is going to be Toy Story 4. As much, as much as I would want for How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World to win, it's not going to. Sadly, it always gets passed by. And that would be the one that I mentally am um, checkboxing. But... It's gonna be Toy Story 4. They don't win, it's gonna go to Frozen 2. And I mean, it was, it's fine. Frozen 2 is it's a good movie as well. Best screenplay motion picture would be Noah Baumbach for Marriage Story, Bon Joon Ho, and uh, Han Jin Wong for Parasite, Anthony McCartan for The Two Popes, Quentin Tarantino for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Steven Zalelin, The Irishman. As much as I would love Noah Baumbach for it to win, I think it's gonna go to Tarantino, to be honest with you. If it doesn't go to him, it's gonna go to Bon Joon Ho for Parasite. Again, like I said, I hear 
wonderful things about it. The Irishman is another one that could possibly take. Oh my god, you guys, this is this is this is right here, you guys. This is when it gets very complicated. Like I was very like about my other ones. I didn't actually write this one down. Look, I have a little notepad, you guys, so I can know where which ones I have. I didn't pick one for screenplay. So this is this is how I get okay because like I really don't know. But the Irishman was also a phenomenal script. So I don't know. I'm gonna go with Tarantino. We're we're gonna say Tarantino. That's the one I'm checking. Okay, like oh god, I think I might regret it. No, we're gonna go Tarantino. That's who it's gonna go. I go back to what I have on my list: best original song, motion picture, uh, beautiful ghost for cats. Um, I'm gonna love me again, Rocket Man, Into the Unknown, Frozen Two. Spirit, The Lion King, and Stand Up Harriet. I'm gonna just go with Into the Unknown because it's a Frozen song. Um, but just because they may want to have Elton John up there, I'm gonna love me again may win it just to get Elton up there, honestly. Best Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. The nominees, Dolomite Is My Name, Jojo Rabbit, Knives Out, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Rocket Man. Again, I love Jojo Rabbit. Hollywood's gonna take it. It, it. That's just who's gonna who's gonna end up. Yeah. That, yeah. I feel like it's a done deal with with Hollywood. Like I said, Hollywood. I feel it's gonna take everything. Moving on to the dramatic section of it. These are 1917, The Irishman, Joker, Marriage Story, and The Two Popes. For this particular category, I mean, it was. I've seen all of them. All of them were great. Of course, Marriage Story and Irishman are my two favorites. And from these two, just be and just because of Scorsese, I'm gonna go with Irishman. It's gonna be the winner for the night. Uh, Marriage Story will come in second place. All right, and we are down to the last category, which would be Best Director of Motion Picture, which was possibly the hardest one to pick, you guys. This is why I have it for last. So nominees are Bong Joon Ho for Parasite, Sam Mendes 1917, Tom Phillips Joker, Martin Scorsese The Irishman, and Quentin Tarantino Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So hard you guys i'm still literally trying to debate if i want to have it the way that i have it but mendez would be fifth place top phillips would be my fourth pick my two honestly front runners were scorsese and tarantino but bon joon ho he could come in kind of like with eddie murphy and just like slither his way in there and and take the award so just because i haven't seen the movie i'm gonna go ahead and put him in third place it is so hard, you guys. Okay, so Scorsese and Tarantino. Oh God, I think Scorsese for the Irishman is gonna take it because they love him, but it could be Tarantino. So I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna say Tarantino's gonna win. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's gonna win. That's who I have, but then I didn't have him. Oh my god. Like, you should see my little marks on here. I'm back and forth. Even though I think Scorsese's actually going to win just because it's freaking Martin Scorsese. But Quentin can, like, possibly just take it. He could take the whole freaking night, you guys. Like, can you imagine? Maybe I should rewatch it. Maybe this is another one kind of like. Bad Max Fury Road and Gone Girl where I just wasn't a fan of it first time and after I think like the third or fourth time of watching it I really started to appreciate it. That may be the case with Hollywood and you know maybe I have to watch it a couple of times to really get the appreciation that you know a lot of people seem to be giving it. 2019 was just like a phenomenal year in film, phenomenal performances, phenomenal directors but let me know down below who you think is going to take the globe home tomorrow so these are my picks we'll see how i do but follow me on instagram i tend to do a lot of stories especially during award season i do a lot of like live reactions so this is my instagram deal i'll have it down below in the description box as well uh, but before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye